guys, it's Alicia from My Work Basket. Um, today I'm going to show you the, I believe it's summer 2018, no, it's fall 2018 of Piecework Magazine. Um, recently, Interweave did a $15 magazine sale to subscribe, and so I shared that on my Facebook page, and I took a bit of advantage of it myself. I subscribed to Piecework, Cloth, Paper, Scissors, and Spinoff, and what I thought might be fun was to just kind of to do a quick flip through of each issue as they came. They're all quarterly magazines, and so this is kind of the first flip through ish flip through video for piecework. Um, if you like fiber arts, arts and crafts in general, um, you can follow me on Facebook, My Work Basket. You can visit my website, myworkbasket.com. I'm kind of the ultimate enabler. So whenever there's a sale or a giveaway or something worth knowing about, I like to try and share it. My website has free patterns, free knitting patterns, free crochet patterns. There's all kinds of crafty chatter. And I really like to encourage people and enable people to like go out and craft. You can do this. So um, piecework, I kind of took a chance on. I have subscribed. Let me shift this a little bit here. Sorry about that. Um, so I subscribed to piecework a couple years ago. I had gotten free on the internet stacks of old piecework magazines and I loved them. And so I immediately subscribed. And then this was probably two or three years ago. All of my issues in that subscription year, I felt like they were very knitting heavy. Um, now I love knitting, but I wanted more than just knitting. The older issues had all kinds of crafts and all kinds of techniques, things I'd never even heard of before, which is very unusual. And so when I saw that piecework was on sale in this magazine sale, I decided to try it again. And so far, I've only done one quick flip through of this magazine, but I will say I was much more impressed. So if you kind of took a break from piecework for that same reason, you might be interested to check it out again. It's got this nice petite point rug on the cover. Some free cross stitch patterns from DMC on this side. Now, there were a little bit more knitting patterns than other crafts. But I still felt like there was a really nice variety and colors fall. That's kind of some neat colored. Mm, that, this is from the Koran collection. The Queen's Embroiderer. Sorry about the angle. I had my phone set to show this better and then as soon as I hit record it kind of flipped it around on me. So there's an article about the Queen's Embroiderer. Um, from 1660 to 1683. Is I can't tell if that's talking about the article in general or this specific picture, but one thing I did love about piecework is it always talks about the history. It's not just like, oh, look at this beautiful historic work. It's not just here's a craft project, but it really is like if you enjoy the history of craft, it's very, very heavy on that. So there's a, the miniature Petit Point Tree of Life carpet is one of the projects and articles in here. Miniature Petit Point bird to stitch. Actually, maybe the carpet is just information. Yes, so that was just kind of a show off. But then to go with it, they give you the pattern for this miniature petite point bird to stitch. Let me try and get you a better picture of that. They also, the not forbidden knot stitch was an interesting article. They show you how to work a Peking knot. Kamak primer, a comic, Kamak. Um, which looks pretty neat. Let me see if I get some of the detail for you. Crowning glory of embroidery. Let me see if I can. There we go. Um, they also always show you further resources, places you can kind of go to learn more about it. So this one was about hair embroidery. Hungarian chesnik crocheted lace. 
some beautiful pieces to kind of show off here and some information about it. Um, let's try to see if I can. Again, I'm so sorry for the angles on this. I wanted to show it and share it. My phone kind of had its own idea on this. So there is the pattern and instructions for how to make this lace bookmark. And it uses a size 100 thread. So you can imagine that's some pretty fine work. And they have the pattern for that, the diagram. Finding a fitting fleece for fooling. The Knitting an Early Modern Europe Project. So there's quite an article about this. A knitted and fooled cap for a child. So there's quite an article about kind of recreating that and working on that. Knitting and fooling swirkles kind of goes with that article. Let me talk about that. A christening gown to knit pattern. The fine knitting of Estonia. I think every... Every knitter kind of wants to do a pair of Estonian mittens at some point. But they also show some of the historical finds. They have these gloves translated from Estonian as a project. So one thing I do like is they talk a lot about the history of an item and a history of a technique and style, and then they show you how to kind of try that and do it yourself. This is much more akin to the old piecework magazines that I had kind of fallen in love with. So I was very excited about that. Knitting Gansies. Kind of, a, there's an article on that and some information about the typical construction. So if you're really interested um, baby fancy socks to knit pattern with an example of a historic pattern that they kind of copied it off of. Um, so if you're interested in not just knitting and crafts, but the history of handwork, piecework seems to have redeemed itself in that. So this is the wandering paths stole to knit. So again, there is kind of more knitting patterns than any other project. But I felt like there was enough other projects this time to really kind of redeem itself. And I'm very excited. Um, calendar of some upcoming events. So that was the piecework for fall 2018. I hope you enjoyed this quick flip through. Again, this is Alicia from My Work Basket. You can find me at myworkbasket.com. You can find me on Facebook. I'm on Ravelry. Um, Instagram, Twitter, pretty much all under my work basket. So if you like kind of seeing this kind of stuff and being just encouraged in your crafts, um, I always love to see what people are working on. You can email me at alicia at myworkbasket.com or tag me on like Instagram or somewhere. Like I said, I just really, I'm kind of the ultimate enabler. I want people to craft. I want people to enjoy crafting. So if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to follow me and have a great day.